In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can use this template and customize it with your own image. We'll also look at editing text and finally outputting the file. So let's get started. If you've not yet downloaded this free template, click here to download it from the Discovery Center. I'm going to start by bringing my image in that I want to use. Now there's a couple of ways I can do this. I can either open up the image. Once opened, do a control C. That's going to allow me to copy it to the Windows clipboard. I'll select my tab that will bring up my template. And then from the edit menu, I can go down and paste as new layer. That's going to paste it in my layers palette and allow me to modify the image. I'm going to do it another way. In my organizer tray, I can left click on the image that I want to use and simply drag it directly into the layers palette. This will allow me then to position this image where I want it. Let me just auto hide my organizer as well as my navigator by clicking on these pins. That's going to give me a little bit more space to play around with in here. I'll start by positioning the image. I'm watching the upper right hand corner. Now the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to grab one of these gripping handles and I can simply slide the image and make it smaller. Perfect. Now that I have my image in place, I'm going to select my text layer. With my text tool selected, I can click in here and I'm going to type in the text that I want to add. As I already have it on the Windows clipboard, I'm simply going to highlight this text and I'll do a control V to paste that text in. Grabbing my pick tool is going to allow me to position this in the center of that frame. Now, I'm going to go back to my text tool. I'll select the text in this frame. And on the interactive property bar at the top, you can see I can change a number of the different properties of this piece of text. I'm going to start by changing a font. Now, I'm going to use the font called Gale Force BTN. I'll leave the point size at 20 point. I can either make it bold or I can give this text an outline and that will simulate me making it bold. I'd prefer to give it an outline because I can control how heavy that piece of text looks. I can change my font color. I'll move this slider up and I want a green color text. I can bring this down. I have a very specific value of color that I want to use and so I'm going to enter the HTML equivalent for that text. And the color I want to use is 60A101 and I'll click OK. Under stroke color, I'm going to select the same color and this is where I can get that bold appearance from. So again, the number is 60A101. I'll click OK and now I can set my stroke width. I'm going to bring that up to about 3. And you can see it's made that text a little bit heavier. The final setting I want to do on my interactive property bar is this last icon. I'll click on this and here I have the ability of changing my outline style, miter limit, leading, kerning and tracking and that sort of thing. I'm going to change the leading, which is the spacing between the lines and I'm going to go to minus 0.3 and I'll just hit enter. And now simply a matter of selecting my pick tool and I can position this text. Now that my text is positioned where I want it, it's simply a matter of saving out the file. I'm going to save it as a JPEG file format and that way I can email it to friends and family members. I can also take it to the store and have them print it on photo paper. Now, if you want to try any of the other templates that are provided along with PaintShop Pro, simply go to the File menu and select New from Template. In here you'll notice that there's a number of different templates and template categories. We have the ability of selecting purchased ones uh, or new ones. I can scroll through here. There's a number of different templates. If I pick collage, for example, you'll see that we do have a number of free templates uh, as well as templates that are available for purchase. I'm simply going to hit cancel on this. And that brings us to the end of this short tutorial using templates in PaintShop Pro. If you found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, be sure to head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos. There you can also find scripts, templates, and other add-ons for your application. Thanks for watching.